Warren Buffett, how did this relationship come about? Yeah, Mr. Buffett, uh, I was super fortunate enough to be a captain uh, in my last year and last couple of years at Nebraska. And he was an honorary captain my senior year. And so it was funny. We came off from warm-ups and one of the coaches grabbed me and was like, hey, do you know who Warren Buffett is? I'm like, I mean, yeah, I'm young, but of course I knew who he is. <laughs> uh, and they were like, well, do you want to meet him? He's going to go out and do the coin toss with you um, and whatnot. And so I said, yeah, for sure. So I met him right before the game and that was really it. And it was just a quick introduction and we did the coin toss and then played the game, killed Oklahoma uh, my senior year, senior night. And then we moved on probably about six months later, a friend of mine was like, yo, you should just reach out to Mr. Warren, to Mr. Buff to see if he would meet with you and take a, take a meeting. So I asked coach uh, Osborne, would he set it up? Cause I knew they were close friends and he said, happy to do it. Um, but I'm just unsure if he will take the meeting. He's kind of picky and choosy. Obviously he's a very busy, busy uh, human being. He sent the email. Uh, we got connected and he was like, yeah, happy to meet with you. Let's pick a time. So I got to his office about two hours ahead of the time waiting on him uh, just out of respect. And we sat in that in his office for probably like three hours just talking like I was talking to my dad and just soaking up how he just maneuvers and, and reads and how he carries on his day. He allowed me to shout up, shadow him uh, whenever I wanted to. And that relationship is just been strong ever since I left and left that meeting till this day. I actually spoke to him uh, yesterday. So it's like, I don't know how I built that relationship. It still boggles my mind uh, when it, when the phone rings and or an email comes across. So uh, it's just a great relationship that I'm, I'm very thankful for. What are some of the, uh, obviously you, you, you like to invest, you say you have uh, building companies. What are some of your proudest investments what are some of the things you like you had reservations at first but you like man i'm glad i did this i can i can really do this now I, yeah you know what i can i can do this yeah i mean just talking about uh mr buffett and one of the best things i learned from him was uh make sure you invest in people uh and that's one of the things that the smartest things that i've been able to take from him and one of my most prideful things is is my relationship with uh, the African-American men that I that I see as my great mentors, the Jay Browns of the world, uh, the Junior Bridgmans of the world. Uh, I love food, so hospitality. Mr. Bridgman is one of the best in the country at that. Yeah. He yeah. was really, he was one of the first to got these franchisees with the Wendy's and the other things. Uh, uh, I think the Applebee's, he had a couple of them. I, I don't know how many he has now, but at one point in time, he had over a hundred. Yeah, no, no question. He's, he's very successful and having been able to meet him in Louisville around um, the horse racing uh, that was down there the other day, uh, probably about five, six years ago now. It's crazy. Uh, but yeah, just those relationships and, and being able to uh, have the opportunity to invest, and invest alongside of them has uh, is, is been a great situation. I mean, uh, Marcy Venture Partners is one of my greatest investments, just seeing what, how that is coming to light. Um, and being alongside, like I said, Jay Brown and Jay-Z uh, and, and the smart people that they have, that, that to me is some of the great decisions that I have. And then even like the one I'm probably most excited about is if I'm particularly picking one particular company, uh, I'd probably say Ember Technologies right now. Uh, Self-heating technology, uh, and it's just going crazy uh, with how successful they are and all the information that I've been able to touch base and be close with, um, with the CEO there, Clay Alexander, some of the special stuff he has up his sleeve for not only gifts for my team that, we're, that I'm working on, but also uh, just the ability to see what he's doing in the medical world um, and the logistic world with that company is, is super special. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button to become an official member of Club Shay Shay where we always do something before two something.